Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be interviewing one of our favourite singers today. Can you... How you doing guys? My name's Ruben from Manchester. Busking out today, it's nice weather, you know. It's pretty decent, love it down here. People are great, aren't they? Indeed they are, yeah. yeah. But of course, what first got you into music? Um, my dad. I think my dad's half Jamaican, so I grew up on reggae music. So that was like my inspiration. Heavy bass lines and a great funky guitar beat. You know, I grabbed my first guitar when I was nine. I was in the orchestra until I, I was like 18. Traveled the world, played the cello, and been in bands all my life, touring, and yeah, so I'm only 22, so it's just starting, I guess. And eventually, what, what do you want to be able to do eventually? I, in you all are honest, pretty good in at all what honesty, you do. Um, I want to be worldwide. I want to be the biggest pop star in the world. That's it. Yeah. Well, who is your idol right now? Who is it you want to be as big as or bigger than? Bigger than? Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say Drake is my idol, but I want to be bigger than Drake. Definitely. Bigger than Justin Bieber. I want to be you know, past that level. But then again, everyone's bigger than Justin Bieber because he can't sing. I uh, don't know, he's pretty good, he's pretty good. I mean, his music, I wouldn't rate his music, but <laughs> I think he's got some talent, definitely. Yeah. He's got a talent <laughs> with the women, that's for sure. Yeah, but, I think I got that down. Yeah. But yourself, when you... When you thought about becoming a musician, what was your favourite instrument? Um, I play keys, drums, bass, guitar and cello. And all, I love them all just as much, but the guitar is just the one that did it for me. I kind of, it's just like a natural thing, I picked it up and just, it happened, you know. And when did you first start to, to write music? I wasn't, it wasn't until I was 16, I wrote a song and shipped it on Facebook and it went viral, it got like 20,000 likes and I thought this is what I need to do, I need to keep writing music. And then you thought about coming down to Altrinum to actually play your music for, for more people to hear. Yeah, came down to Altrincham when I was 18 and um, well, it went really well so I did it for a couple of months and I left for two years and toured Europe and I've only recently just come back. Yeah. And where in Europe did you actually go? I went to Berlin, Amsterdam, Cologne, Frankfurt, Prague, Ireland, I did all of England. All right, no problem, thank you. Yeah, so I've done, I've done a lot of places. France, yeah. Where in, where was your favorite place to go to, to perform? Berlin. I've, I've lived there for on and off a year, you know, so I, I really love the city. It's just more, so cultural and urban and just amazing, you know. And did you have to different what was the difference between the music you had to play there and say what the music we had to play in um, France? Uh, exactly the same. Exactly the same. Um, I would play the same songs, the same set, and the people in Berlin though would react a lot different to people elsewhere. Every city has different kind of people. Like, <clears throat> if you go to Scotland and play, people will be a lot more forward and a lot more interactive. If you go to London and people will be a lot more reserved. I see business minded, like you know. So. But eventually, <laughs> of course, you say you like to do um, tours and things. Will one day will you be on the the stage doing that, or would it want to be like in an open air concert? Uh, no, I already play stages. The last one of the last gigs we did was at the O2 in Manchester as our headline show. We played a festival two days ago on the main stage. Um, and how did we, that go? We went very well, thank you very much. It was really good. Um, we're always performing shows, you know, always working hard. We've just hit 600,000 players on Spotify and our music's now being played in Topshop and River Island and H&M and all the mainstream stores. So, just about to drop a new single and hopefully that'll lead us on to more stages and more festivals, you know. But I think the main thing for us now is staying humble and staying true to our fans and keeping um, everyone happy and 
just keeping the passion for music and not losing ourselves amongst like you know the numbers and the statistics, keeping it real to be honest. I think that's what we need to do right now. That is that is honestly one of the best things I've heard in a long time. Most people would let the um, the fame, maybe not the fortune just yet, or are you but are you interested in the fortune? Or are you more interested in helping people um, um, the realize first, the beauty yeah. of the music? The music's first, definitely. The money's second because without the money, I, I, I can't I can't make the music, you know. Um, and then the fame is last. Fame. I don't really care about fame. I mean, a, a, a million people who know you, but you know none of them. You know, they, they judge your life, they watch you, and it, it's a bit shallow to be honest. The whole fame side of it. It might feel good for a couple of months, and don't get me wrong, I probably will enjoy it, but eventually it will just become shallow, and I think if I was chasing fame, and I would never feel satisfied. Never. That is brilliant. Well, well, you heard it there, guys. Our friend doesn't want any fame. He just wants the beauty of the music to come out. So make sure, give this guy all the love, all the love, and I will see you again in the next video. Adios.